Hi there, thank you for joining me. It's your girl Esther Daniel and today we are going to talk about Nyele Duere Tofa. I don't know whether I pronounced that right but who cares. So long as you get the point right. So let's talk about hair and how to make it longer. So my type of hair is 4C hair, you know, the longer one, the kinky one, the coily one, <laughs> the beautiful one. The gem, yes, I can keep going, but I won't for now. I'm sure you got, the, you get the point now. So why and how should we make our hair grow longer? Why? Because probably that's what you want. I like longer hair. How do we do it? I'll share to you the tips that I have used over the four years that I've had my dreadlocks, and then if you want to try, you can try. And if you get results, let me know. Chamuhi munikudua, I am not a hair expert. But these are tips that I have used. Uh, these are things that I've been doing over the years and I have seen them give me some good results. So in case you want to try it, go right ahead and follow this video and let's talk about it. So having said that, let's go to the main thing that brought us here, right? Number one, visit your hairdresser. Let them assess your hair and let them tell you what your hair is lacking. I don't know about your hair, I don't know about the texture, I don't know about uh, the nutrients that it may be lacking, but I know I did go to a hairdresser who assessed my hair uh, some years back, like three years when my, my hair was only one year old. I went to the hairdresser and I asked them, because my hair reached that retardation stage, everybody who has dreadlocks, they can tell about that. There comes a time when your hair just becomes retarded it's not growing anymore so I went there and they told me that my hair had issues with protein it had I needed to use products that had protein, uh, protein. so that is why you are visiting your hairdresser you need to know why your hair looks the way it looks and how come it's not improving or what is it that is lacking that uh, you need to invest on so that you can have longer hair so I visited my uh, hairdresser they advised me on the products that I use use for my hair as per the condition it was back then because sometimes one year you may have your hair lacking protein the next year you have it lacking something else so it is good to keep on visiting the hairdresser so that they can assess your hair all right number two use the right products the right products how do you know how to use the right products you know by visiting your hairdresser who told you what to your hair last and then recommended the right products that you can use now there are products that are natural products my favorite by the way and there are other products that are not necessarily natural products i don't know what to call them i don't know what to call them but you get the point right make sure you use the right products and by right products i also mean that products that are working for your scalp and your hair you don't want products that are too harsh like there was this period of time i used to go to my hairdresser to get my hair done like my wash day and every time she used a certain kind of shampoo i would scratch my head off i would scratch and scratch and scratch you know that scratch that never leaves even after you take a, a wash like even immediately after you wash your hair that kind of that is the kind of scratch I used to have. I came to realize that it was because of the shampoo that she was using. So I switched shampoos. I started using a natural shampoo. And voila, it has worked for me so far. I have no complaints. And yeah, that's why you need to go and buy the right products that are working for your scalp, that are not harsh, and are working well with your scalp and your hair. You know, there are shampoos and conditioners that leave your hair brittle. You don't want this. Make sure you use the right products. Number three, moisture, water, maji. Hmm? Moisturize your hair. Make sure you follow a routine. Get a routine. It can be two days a week or, well, no. I use every day. Every day I moisturize my hair. Like I, I would spray some water on my hair every day before I leave the house to work. Every morning. So I would recommend the same for you. Go get a spray bottle, put some water. You don't even have to add a lot of oil, uh, butters, and all those things that they keep telling us to do. Yes, they are good because they seal the moisture, 
but you can just take a spray bottle put some water be spraying your hair so that when you want to go and um, apply some oil on top it will seal the moisture I will do a full video for, of how I moisturize my hair the kind of products that I use the oils the butters the water especially the water mud in your high it's even said in Swahili right so make sure that you moisturize your hair well and that will not only give it a good shiny glowy look but it will help it not become brittle so that it doesn't break easily Tafadali. To me, a madzi, madzi, madzi. You don't even have to go to the neighbor to borrow. Yeah, you may go in some cases, but to me, a madzi. Use water on your hair. It needs water, just like when you get dehydrated, you need water. Your hair also needs water. Number four, before I keep on rambling, number four, uh, make sure you don't over twist your hair. As you can see, I don't know whether you guys can see. I have not had a fresh retwists or twist i have not twisted my hair of late uh the last time i twisted my hair was like three weeks ago and why because i don't like twisting and twisting and twisting my hair over and over again it makes it weak it makes these roots weak and as you can tell the roots will one day be there somewhere along here part of the length so if it is weak that means that hair will be weak. That strand will be weak. Make sure you don't twist your hair now and then. Dreadlocks. In case you have dreadlocks. If you don't have dreadlocks, honey, keep combing your hair. Okay? It's allowed. Which reminds me why I stopped using, uh, having natural hair. Because I don't like combing hair. I mean, I went lock, uh, lucky because I, I don't like combing my hair. So, like I said, please. Stop twisting your hair every week, after every two weeks, every month. You don't have to worry so long as you keep your hair tidy and clean. You don't need to worry about who thinks your hair is unkept. You know the reason as to why you are not twisting your hair and you have to stick to your goal. Longer health, uh, longer length and healthy hair. Okay? Stop twisting your hair now and then. Number five. Is it five or six? Number five, I think. Stop dyeing, bleaching, coloring your hair now and then. And I know I'm not supposed to be even talking about this because as you can see, the evidence is clear. <laughs> I hope you guys can see. I hope the camera can focus on. I have colored my hair a few times. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> but I have learned the hard way. That's why I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Let me show you what happens when you do that. When you keep, see? Get very weak edges. They start, the hair becomes very weak and it becomes so weak that you can pull it like this and it's going to, it's going to cut off. So please don't tell, I mean, don't bleach, don't color your hair frequently don't even do it if you don't want to if you don't have to well i know it gets boring sometimes to be, to be just black 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 all through but minimize it man minimize you want the lens go an extra mile to get the lens okay okay having said that let me go back let me pass to the next one before we talk about that for the next 20 minutes so number six uh it eat a balanced diet eat healthily drink a lot of water moisturize from within and it will blossom outside we are going to see it on your crown eat a healthy balanced diet vegetables good food not and not necessarily expensive food I mean good food that will try that will give your hair and your body nutrients to make your hair grow okay Number seven, please, go slow on styling. Do you remember those days when we used to style? Because I do when my hair was so short and probably some of you are still doing this. When your hair is too short and then you go and style because you think that way. Back then I used to think that if I style when it's this short, it's going to, the lock will start locking faster. 
So you go and lock your hair like that and you style and then tighten them. I remember this one time I had to take a painkiller because they were so tight. I don't want the same to happen to you because first of all it weakens your hair. Second of all, what's the beauty of having something you're not enjoying? How or, or why should you be taking painkillers so that you can have a relief of something you could have avoided so please stay away from frequent styling stay away from those tight styles if they're styling you and you have to get a style on please make sure it's not tight it's going to weaken your hair it's not even healthy for you or your scalp stay away run sister kimbia marathon keep jogging number eight Indulge in hot oil treatments in your daily wash day routine. Before you wash your hair, apply some hot oil on your hair. Let it sit for a while and then you can wash off. This will not only help your hair get strengthened, it will help your hair shine, grow and seal off, seal in the moisture. It will help your hair not to lose a lot of moisture during the washing because when we wash sometimes our hair gets stripped off. The moisture and some nutrients or some good things from our hair so the oil will seal that so that your hair retains a normal and a healthy moisture and this helps your hair get strengthened so indulge and buy some oils that will help your hair and every time you want to do you want to go for your wash day first of all make sure you apply them you can even have the person who's washing your hair if you're not doing it at home you can have them apply the oil first and then let them have it sit there for a while and then wash it off and then voila your hair will be longer thank you so much for joining me oh number nine i will need you to remember this very very well it's not about the length it's about how healthy is your hair don't concentrate so much on the length part of it that you forget how healthy your hair is because you may have very long hair but unhealthy hair you may have very long healthy hair but unhealthy scalp well i don't know whether that happens because scalp and hair goes together but anyway in case you you really are stressing about longer hair i will advise you to take a chill pill and please concentrate on healthy hair concentrate on getting your hair healthy and sooner or later it will grow it will give you the results that you, you want so in even if you're going to follow these step, tips and do other uh, more things to make your hair longer please concentrate do it but concentrate on healthy hair I hope those tips goes a long way in helping you on your length journey and please remember don't obsess over it it's not that serious it's going to happen when it happens just keep the focus keep doing what is right and then it will happen until next time thank you for joining me please remember to subscribe like comment share all those good stuff that are free of charge and we are going to see each other next time dear friend thank you for joining me bye bye